Welcome to the first episode of our Sudoku series. In this video, we'll show you how to use advanced reasoning techniques to solve a real-life puzzle step-by-step. -step. Let's get started. Only one position left in the second box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the second column where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. There is a naked pair in box 9. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 2, 8 can be removed from all other cells in the same box. There is a naked triple in row 6. We have three cells in only three possible values to be placed there. The candidates 1, 4, 7 can be removed from all other cells in the same row. There is a finned swordfish with value 1 in rows 2, 6, and 8. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is a finned swordfish with value 8 in rows 1, 4, and 9. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is a finned jellyfish with value 7 in columns 1, 2, 4, and 8. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is a finned jellyfish with value 8 in rows 1, 2, 8, and 9. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an XY chain with four links that starts at row 5 column 1. This cell has only two candidates, 7 and 8. If the value of row 5 column 1 is not 8 then it has to be 7. Thus 7 cannot also be in row 5 column 8. If the value of row 5 column 8 is not 7 then it has to be 2. Thus 2 cannot also be in row 5 column 9. If the value of row 5 column 9 is not 2 then it has to be 1. Thus 1 cannot also be in row 7 column 9. If the value of row 7 column 9 is not 1 then it has to be 9. Thus 9 cannot also be in row 7 column 6. If the value of row 7 column 6 is not 9 then it has to be 8. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 8 is either in row 5 column 1, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 7 column 6. Therefore value 8 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. In the seventh box, the number 8 can only appear in the green marked cells. Because the marked cells also appear in the third column, it cannot appear in the other positions of the third column and the candidates in those positions can be deleted. In the fourth box, the number 8 can only appear in the green marked cells. Because the marked cells also appear in the fifth row, it cannot appear in the other positions of the fifth row and the candidates in those positions can be deleted. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 8. If 8 is not in row 1 column 5, then it has to be in row 1 column 7. If 8 is in row 1 column 7, then it cannot also be in row 9 column 7. If 8 is not in row 9 column 7, then it has to be in row 8 column 8. Therefore value 8 is either in row 1 column 5 or row 8 column 8. Value 8 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. 
there is an XY chain with four links that starts at row 4 column 3. This cell has only two candidates, 3 and 7. If the value of row 4 column 3 is not 7 then it has to be 3. Thus 3 cannot also be in row 4 column 6. If the value of row 4 column 6 is not 3 then it has to be 8. Thus 8 cannot also be in row 7 column 6. If the value of row 7 column 6 is not 8 then it has to be 9. Thus 9 cannot also be in row 7 column 9. If the value of row 7 column 9 is not 9 then it has to be 1. Thus 1 cannot also be in row 7 column 1. If the value of row 7 column 1 is not 1 then it has to be 7. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 7 is either in row 4 column 3, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 7 column 1. Therefore value 7 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. Cell row 5 column 1 is a naked single, the only possible value is 8. Only one position left in the 7th box where value 7 can be placed. Only one is missing in the first column. Only one position left in the second box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the 8th box where value 7 can be placed. Cell row 6 column 5 is a naked single, the only possible value is 4. Only one position left in the 6th box where value 4 can be placed. In the 6th box, the number 2 can only appear in the green marked cells. Because the marked cells also appear in the 5th row, it cannot appear in the other positions of the 5th row and the candidates in those positions can be deleted. In the 8th box, the number 8 can only appear in the green marked cells. Because the marked cells also appear in the 7th row, it cannot appear in the other positions of the 7th row and the candidates in those positions can be deleted. There is a XY wing with the pivot cell row 8 column 5. This cell has two candidates, 2 and 9. One of these values has to be the correct one but we don't know which one it is. If the actual value is 2, then the same value cannot also be in row 4 column 5. Thus the only possible value of row 4 column 5 is 8. The other possibility is that the actual value is 9, if that is the case, then that value cannot also be in row 7 column 6. Thus the only possible value of row 7 column 6 again is 8. But in any case value 8 can be removed from any cell that shares a region with both cells. Cell row 4 column 6 is a naked single, the only possible value is 3. Cell row 4 column 3 is a naked single, the only possible value is 7. Cell row 5 column 2 is a naked single, the only possible value is 6. Only 3 is missing in the fourth box. Cell row 5 column 6 is a naked single, the only possible value is 9. Cell row 5 column 5 is a naked single, the only possible value is 5. Cell row 1 column 5 is a naked single, the only possible value is 8. Only 5 is missing in the second box. Cell row 1 column 7 is a naked single, the only possible value is 6. Only 5 is missing in the first row. Cell row 2 column 3 is a naked single, the only possible value is 9. Cell row 3 column 3 is a naked single, the only possible value is 6. Cell row 4 column 5 is a naked single, the only possible value is 2. Only 8 is missing in the 4th row. Only 9 is missing in the 5th column. Cell row 6 column 6 is a naked single, the only possible value is 6. Only 8 is missing in the 6th column. Only 2 is missing in the 8th box. 
Cell row 7 column 3 is a naked single, the only possible value is 1. Only 9 is missing in the 7th row. Cell row 3 column 9 is a naked single, the only possible value is 2. Only 1 is missing in the 9th column. Cell row 5 column 4 is a naked single, the only possible value is 7. Only 1 is missing in the 5th box. Only 2 is missing in the 5th row. Only 7 is missing in the 6th box. Cell row 2 column 7 is a naked single, the only possible value is 8. Cell row 2 column 2 is a naked single, the only possible value is 7. Only 8 is missing in the first box. Only 5 is missing in the second row. Cell row 3 column 7 is a naked single, the only possible value is 9. Only 7 is missing in the third box. Only 8 is missing in the eighth column. Cell row 8 column 3 is a naked single, the only possible value is 2. Only 8 is missing in the 7th box. Only 1 is missing in the 8th row. Only 2 is missing in the 9th box. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you come across a particularly difficult Sudoku puzzle that you can't solve, leave a comment below and let us know. We'll be sure to take a look and provide some helpful tips. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!